Hello everybody and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm gonna talk about an option, an interesting option in OpenFOAM which is FOAM to BTK. It allows to convert FOAM or OpenFOAM results into BTK format in order to import it and read it in Paraview. This is the page of uh, FOAM to VTK. So here we have a description, small, uh, small one and all the options that uh, you can use while using form to vtk so let's uh, go to a test so here i have i have this test case so it's um, an alias case it's very large so i run i run it in part of you without using form to vtk so it's the uh, the traditional option per form and here I will click apply and as you can see it takes time because my mesh is big and also I'm uploading here to um, two fields the velocity and pressure and in some cases you can uh, you can uh, choose more fields like here the uh, turbulent fields and Y plus for example so here, if I click apply, it's going to take time because it will load all these variables to my case and for all the steps. So here I have like uh, 15 steps, which will be large and will be uh, engage more memory in my laptop, which is um, not very practical when you have large cases. So here, for example, if I choose velocity, okay, I do this, I can do this and I can, for example, hit play here and it's going to take time because it's engaged memory. Okay, it's moving, but really slowly here we have, we are moving from 9 to 9.2 and so on. So I stop it here. This was just to show you um, to show you how heavy and how slow uh, is the um, the result visualization. So th this is the idea behind why I am using form to VTK. For example, here I'll be more specific. I am interested to the last time step here. And I'm interested only by the U, uh, U field. So I go here. I can do form to VTK for all the case, by the way. Okay, I'll start with form to VTK for all the case. It takes time because it's going to convert all the fields for all the time steps I am having here. So it's like, let's count, it's 15 folders, directories. Okay, it takes time. So here it's done. It took like uh, three to four minutes. So I load the, the, the VTK. So here it creates directory named VTK with all the time steps and also the boundaries uh, included in the mesh. Okay, so in order to open it, I type part of here. Then from here, I upload VTK and all the time steps. Okay, and here, for example, I have velocity and I, I hit uh, the play here. It goes faster than the previous uh, option of Parafoam. So here you can see the difference. We are moving through the uh, time steps for the velocity field and it goes uh, faster and also if you want to generate an animation it's gonna be um, faster in time and um, sorry in terms of time okay but there is another more uh, optimal option that you can use but before I remove uh, the VTK folder generated and here I'll be more specific. For example, I want to 
um, the parameter of my interest is velocity. So I don't care about the turbulence parameters and I don't care about the y plus and the pressure. So the parameter of my interest is only velocity. So what you do, I do instead of form to VTK, I add some options. So here I will do field velocity. Okay, uh, sorry, fields. It creates this folder, VTK, but only for the velocity. It goes faster also in the um, while generating the directory VTK, and you will see that it will be also faster in ParView. So here we're done. I'll run ParView again. Load VTK fly. And here you can see that the only uh, field I have is velocity. So I choose it and apply. And you see that it's more efficient. It doesn't engage too much memory. So it's more uh, optional and more efficient. And this is not the only option that you can use in form to VTK. You can also do a uh, form to VTK. Okay, I'll remove the VTK generated folder. I can do also a uh, form to VTK, but this time I choose lattice time. So uh, the time step of my interest is only the lattice one. So I'm not interested by the other time steps okay it will give me for time equal to 12 okay and here power view here I have all the fields because I didn't uh, choose the uh, one field I only choose um, the, for the lattice time. So here, uh, instead, I can do uh, the animation. I can only choose the fields corresponding to the time step, uh, corresponding to the time step equal to 12. You can combine both. You can combine uh, both. For example, here, lattice time and fields. For example, uh, velocity and pressure. And it will go faster, I guess. Yes. And here in power view, load VTK. Okay, so here we have velocity and pressure. And this is not only for running power view, but also if you are running your results, you are you have your results in a server and you want to copy it to your local machine, it's preferable to choose the parameter or the output of your interest and only copy it to your local machine for your storage and also for the time of copy and also for uh, the visualization like we uh, saw here. Okay. And also you can, um, and also you can instead of using lattice time, we can do. And there is no difference. You can uh, put whatever you want the first. So fields uh, as the first option, or the second, or the last doesn't matter. And then you can choose here time uh, dash time, and you choose for example uh, time nine. 10, 12, okay, let's see. So here it's rejected L formed range one. Okay, let's see. And here for the options, we have this option time. Okay, this is the one we saw, fields, lattice time. Also, you can specify no boundary if you, you don't want to 
convert all the boundaries. Okay, so this is the formula for time. I modify it. Okay. So it's nine comma twelve, for example. And here it goes. So it will create the VTK for time equal to 9 and time equal to 12. Then part of here. Okay. Here we have BU and B. And these are the fields that we choose. Here, fields U and pressure for time 9 and, and 12. So this one and this one, time 1 and time 2. One corresponds to 9 and the other one to 12. Okay, so this is, I think this is a very important and interesting feature to use when uh, dealing with large cases in open form. And also, if you want to dig more, there is this uh, option, this manual pages about open form and you have some advanced advanced options that you can use depending on your need so this is all for this tutorial thank you for watching and see you in next video